Hi, you are watching the Notifier Pro video tutorial. One of the most exciting things about the Notifier Pro is that you can target specific users visiting your site, create a notifications bank, and add your own HTML into the notification box. Here is a great example of a customized notification using a unique title, link, and image to inform users about different promotions and events taking place around the site. Watch this video to find out how you can send messages to your website's users using the Notifier Pro application. Once you've installed the Notifier Pro, go to your dashboard. You should see a new tab at the top of your screen labeled Notifier Pro. Click the tab. The screen on this tab is divided into three parts. The top is the message bank, which lists all of your current messages, their status, and start time. The middle area is where you create new notifications and save them. And in the bottom, you can customize the general settings and appearance of your notifications. Let's start by examining the message bank. It shows each notification's title, start date, and status. The message is already live and can be seen when you visit my site. Later, we'll create a delayed message and see how that appears. You can also edit existing notifications by clicking the edit button or delete them by clicking delete. Now let's look at the message editor. Enter your message title. You can add a link to that title now enter the message body. Notice that you can insert your own HTML code, which is also a great way to integrate actual ads into your notifications. You can also add an image, either from a URL or from your computer. Remember, the recommended size for your images is no larger than 100 square pixels or 30 kilobytes. Using the Pro Notifier, you can also control the exact time your message will appear and disappear on your website. Adjust the settings and choose an exact date and time for your message to show up. I'm putting a date in the future so we can see the difference between this message and a message that is already live. Now set an end date and time for your message. You have a few filters that will determine on which pages of your website the notification will appear. The first filter will allow you to send a message only to visitors on pages that include a specific keyword or domain in their URL. For example, you can send a message about the latest iPad in your e-commerce store to all users visiting a page with iPad in the URL. The second filter will allow you to send your message to all pages except those with a specific keyword or domain in their URL. In this case, you can send a message about new discount deals to all users excluding those who have entered the word free in their search parameter. The third filter will allow you to send your message only to users who have visited a certain number of pages on your website. This is a great way to target users who interact a lot with your content and suggest they subscribe to your RSS feed or newsletter. You can also choose to show your message on all of your website's pages. Preview your new message to see what it will look like to your site's visitors. Now save and add the message. You'll notice that it now appears in the message bank with a green waiting sign to its right. You can add as many notifications as you want and edit them as you please. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the page where you can control the general settings and appearance of your notifications. Here you can add a title that will appear at the top of each notification box. In addition, you can customize the icon that appears to the left of your title. Add an icon using a URL, upload one from your computer, or use one of our default icons. Remember, icons cannot be larger than 20 pixels in height, and the files should not be greater than 30 kilobytes. Choose which side of the notification box your icon will appear. This is especially important for users who are changing the application language and want the messages to run right to left instead of left to right. You can also control the manner in which the message will appear, either by fading in out or by sliding up and down onto your screen. Set the timer on your notifications to determine when they will appear on the screen and how long they will stay visible. Choose from one of three themes. New themes will be introduced from time to time, so stay tuned. Now that we've entered a message and customized the notifications box, 
Click Preview to see the general appearance of your notifications. If you like what you see, click Save. You can preview your message above once more to see what your message looks like with the new general settings. That's it! Create your own notifications and add as many as you want. Goodbye and good luck!